All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, in about five to six hours from now, one of my most highly anticipated releases for this year is gonna be dropping on the global side of the game, and that would be the Dokkan Fest Super Vegeta. So, in today's video, I wanna give you guys a preview of everything you need to know about this release, from the uh, unit details to the banner, of course, the side unit, the animations, the new category and all that good stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned dragon stones to try and pull Vegeta when the banner comes out or if you'd rather save those stones for something else in the future and with that said let's jump right into it but before we talk about the banner or the uh, unit details we got to start with the animations so let's pop over to the Tokon Twitter page here and let me just pause my music let me just pause this too let's go back to the beginning turn up the volume a bit and enjoy like I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? I am Super Vegeta! All right, so there you guys go. Those are the animations for both the new Vegeta as well as the uh, side unit, which is a STR second form cell. Uh, the cell looks great for a non-Dokkan Fest unit, but I just can't get over how phenomenal this final Flash animation looks. I mean, when I first heard that we were getting a new Dokkan Fest uh, Super Vegeta, the first thing I thought of was, they better do the final flash some justice, man, because it's such an iconic moment in the franchise, right? And honestly, they blew away all of my expectations. Like, it looks so damn clean. It looks so damn good. And it's easily, like, in my top five, maybe top three animations in the entire game. I just can't get enough of it. Uh, let me know in the comments where you would rank this final flash. Um, and also the uh, active skill, too, which looks great. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love it. So there you go. Those are the animations. Now let's jump back to the banner. And let me also turn the music back on. Okay, so uh, this was the banner that JP got for the STR Super Vegeta. Obviously, it could be different when it comes to global, but it's most likely going to stay exactly the same. And as far as Dokkan Festival banners go, this one was white solid i would say you know it's not going to be on the same level as a dual token fest banner an anniversary banner or obviously the new year step up banner in terms of value but you know it's pretty good still like there are some very solid units here there is some good value for your stones here obviously we do have the str super vegeta we have the str second form cell and for the other featured units the Int Broly and the STR Bojack are still incredibly powerful. They are still, in my opinion, top tier to URs. And uh, then we have the Fizz Beerus and the Tech Vegeta. Now these two guys I think are maybe now a tier below, but still very useful. And the Fizz Vegeta, now this guy is probably the most outdated unit on this banner. Um, his leader skill is still really useful, of course, because he's a 150% Pure Saiyans lead, and before Vegeta came out, he was the best Pure Saiyans leader in the game, so if you don't manage to pull Vegeta, but you get this Vegeta, uh, he's still going to be a good leader for you. Outside of that, his performance, like damage-wise and defensively, uh, as I said, you know, a little bit outdated, not going to be that impressive, but with that said, he's probably going to be the one that gets an Extreme Sea Awakening before any of these other guys. 
So there's that to look forward to. And uh, yeah, this banner overall, like a 7, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, nothing crazy, but not bad at all. So there's the banner. Now let's talk about the man himself, the STR Super Vegeta. And I think it's no secret at this point that he is just, I mean, what do you say about him? He's amazing, he's busted, he's broken, he's all those things rolled into one. I mean, they really went all out when they designed this unit. They gave him a lot. So starting with the leader skill, it's Mastered Evolution, which is his new category, or Pure Saiyans. Category Q plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Now, taking a look at this Mastered Evolution category, which according to the wiki consists of characters who obtained a new form through training. And scrolling through the selection, as you guys will see, there are actually some fairly powerful options for you to choose from, like the uh, AGL LR Gohan, the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. For the TURs, we have uh, the Transforming Goku, the Transforming Vegeta, the uh, obviously new STR Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, what else? Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the uh, Angel Final Form Frieza, and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, you can definitely build a very powerful, very good team from the units in this category. It's also not too small, there's a decently wide selection. But if I'm being honest, when I look at these units, I'm not really that excited to run this category, uh, there's just something about it that doesn't really quite have the same hype, I guess, compared to the last new category, or the last two new categories actually on Global, uh, Bond of Friendship, and also, what was the other one? I think it's Rapid Battle, no, Accelerated Battle, Accelerated Battle from the uh, LR Hit and God Coup. So when you look at this category compared to those other two, it's not really on the same level. It's a fine category. I'm sure it'll get better in the future too, but right now, it doesn't get me going. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like most people aren't gonna be summoning for the Vegeta for this part of the leader skill. Rather, they're gonna be summoning for him because they wanna run Pure Saiyans with a 170% attack leader, which we've never had before. He is the first unit in the game to give Pure Saiyans 170% attack. And as you guys might know, Pure Saiyans is arguably the best category in the entire game. If not the best category, it's definitely the largest category. It's the category that everybody is going to be able to run because you just have so many units to choose from. I mean, just, just look at all these units. Just look at all these Pure Saiyans. Like, you can build really any type of team you want. There are just so many units, right? So... That's why this guy, I mean, aside from his own performance, is a unit that I feel like most people will want to have because his leader skill is arguably the best leader skill in the game because Pure Saiyans is arguably the best category in the game. So yeah, that is a look at his leader skill. Uh, Mastered Evolution, of course, is the new one, but it's just okay. So from there, let's keep going with the Vegeta's details. After his leader skill, his super attack is Final Flash, which causes immense damage and performs a critical hit for one turn. A critical hit for one turn. So what this means is that his super attacks are guaranteed to crit, guys. It's not a high chance. It's not a great chance. It's not any other chance in the game. It is 100%. It is a guaranteed critical for every single super he performs. So needless to say, if you're building him, you're giving him skill orbs, or you got dupes, you want to give this guy as many additionals as possible because there's literally no reason to give him additional, you know, crit chance, right? Because he gets a 100% chance to crit. So yeah, all additional, all the way for this guy. And of course, the critical hit multiplier gives a huge boost to his damage output, which is significant this guy does a lot of damage so that's the super attack guaranteed criticals once again his passive is attack and defense plus 150 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when performing super attack 
plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% within the same turn after receiving an attack and then stuns enemies attacked by characters super attack. So also 100% chance to stun with a super attack, 100% chance to crit on top of a massive, massive attack and defense boost. And it might look like it's only two, well, only 250% attack and defense, but it's calculated separately. So instead of getting 250, it says here, the additional attack and defense boosts are calculated separately for a total attack and defense boost of 275% when performing a super attack, and then attack and defense plus 400% after receiving an attack. So basically, if he takes a hit first before he supers, then he's going to be doing stupid amounts of damage and also getting a stupid amount of defense. He's going to be super tanky. He's going to be super offensive. Um, I mean, there's just really not much more you can ask for out of a unit. But wait, he also has an active skill, which is I am Super Vegeta that gives him key plus five and attack plus 50% for one turn. And this can be activated when HP is 50% or more, starting from the fifth turn from start of battle, or after the character receives an attack one or more times when there is an enemy whose name includes Cell, characters such as Cell Jr. excluded once only. So 50% HP or more, fifth turn from start of battle. Obviously, I wish that the turn restriction was a little bit earlier, like the third or fourth turn would have been much better, but it's still not bad. And as always, the attack boost on the active skill is calculated separately. So you're getting attack plus 462.5% when performing a super attack after you use the active skill, and then 650% attack after receiving an attack. So on the turn that you use the active skill, if you take a hit first, this guy is getting 650% attack on top of a guaranteed critical and maybe an additional super from the hidden potential system. There's not really anything you can criticize about this unit. There's no negatives to his kit. He's just busted. He's just busted. Uh, it might be possibly a little bit basic because it's just like big attack boost, big defense boost and crits, right? Like there's nothing really unique about the kit. So you could argue he's a little boring. He's a little boring. But if you want just performance, man, you want a unit that will wreck everything in the game. I mean, this guy's your guy, right? So <laughs> that is the STR Super Vegeta. Uh, feel free to tell me your opinions in the comments. And now let's move on to the uh, second form cell real quick. I know a lot of people are probably not that hyped for him, but he is worth talking about because he is also a new unit and also really good. So his leader skill is Android slash Cell Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 180%. When performing a super attack, chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% and reduces damage received by 18% when there is an Android slash Cell Saga category enemy. High chance of stunning all enemies when there's an enemy whose name includes Android and Android slash Cell Saga category Extreme Class Allies. He plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%. So he can be a really good support unit, but as I've complained about in the past, I really wish there was no restriction for the class. You know, like it's only for Extreme Class Android slash Cell Saga. He could have been easily a just Android slash Cell Saga category support unit for Super and Extreme, and it would have been fine. It wouldn't have made him too broken or anything like that, but I guess uh, it is what it is. But of course, he's getting a big, big boost for himself, uh, as you can see at the bottom here. His attack and defense boost is calculated separately on super attack, so he's getting 292% attack and 516% defense when performing a super attack. I don't know exactly how the calculation works, but supposedly he's getting... 516% defense on his super. So after he supers, he becomes a brick wall, right? Like he's not gonna be touchable, at least on most events. Like he still might take damage from a super in like the GT Legendary Goku event, for example, or Extreme Super Battle Road, but still a lot less than most units would take. 
and uh, the only complaint I have about this unit is, of course, the extreme restriction on the support, and also the fact that he's not going to be a great slot 1 unit. He's only getting defense plus 80%, and most of his buff is coming when he supers, so you will want to have him in that second slot, as a, or second or third slot, as often as possible. But since he is mainly, I guess, a support unit, you're going to have him in the second or third slot anyways, so I don't think it's a huge deal. And uh, yeah, that is the second form cell. His links are Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Attack of the Clones, The Wall Standing Tall, Nightmare, Brutal Beatdown, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Androids, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms, Android Slash Cell Saga, Target Goku, Power Absorption, Sworn Enemies, Accelerated Battle, and Worldwide Turmoil. Now, I just realized that I probably didn't tell you guys the links and categories for the Super Vegeta, so let me just quickly do that. Super Vegeta's links are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigy, Saiyan Pride, Golden Warrior, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So pretty standard Vegeta links. And the categories are Pure Saiyans, Full, full Power, Vegeta's Family, uh, Super Saiyans, Worthy Rivals, Android Slash Cell Saga, Rapid Growth, Gifted Warriors, Heavenly Events, and Mastered Evolution. So just like most other Vegetas and Gokus in the game, a ton of categories, a ton of teams you can throw this guy on, and he's going to be great for all of them. So, uh, yeah, those are the details for the two new units. Obviously, the Vegeta is much more hype, it's the much better unit, but Cell is uh, not too shabby for an extreme Android slash Cell Saga team. So, that pretty much concludes all the information I wanted to give you guys today. We went through, you know, what these guys do. Uh, we talked about the banner, we went through the animations, we talked about the new category as well, which is fine. But uh, now is the time for possibly a recommendation. My hope is that at this point, you guys have received enough info to decide for yourselves if you want to summon. But in my opinion, most people, I mean, the Vegeta's just too good. The Vegeta's just too good. Most people, I think, should do a couple multis on this banner. There might be discounts, like the, you know, three steps with a guaranteed featured unit on the third step. I feel like there's a chance that happens. Maybe it doesn't, but if it does, then definitely do those three steps. But even if there aren't discounts, I would still do at least three to four multis for a chance to get the Vegeta. But of course, for certain people, it might be a really bad banner, in which case you might want to wait until Vegeta comes back. You can just buy him with coins. But the average player, the free-to-play player, the person that doesn't have every other unit on the banner rainbowed like I do, um, it's going to be some good value. Uh, if you get a, you know, Bojack or a uh, Int Broly, that's not going to be a bad thing by any means. And yeah, that's my recommendation, guys. I think this banner is worth it. I think the Vegeta is very much worth your stones. So uh, if you guys do plan to summon, then best of luck to you. Um, one other consideration, of course, right now is that we do have the New Year's banner still active until the end of the month. So if you haven't finished your rotations on the New Year's banner, that should still be your priority. Okay, over this Vegeta banner, that New Year's banner is just way too good. It's way too valuable for you to not do all three rotations if you are a free to play player. So I would still finish those rounds first and see if you have leftover stones for the Vegeta banner. It's going to be here for a while, so you don't have to rush too much. But uh, yeah, I definitely think the New Year's banner is still much better than the Vegeta banner. You should still definitely focus on that. But with that said, Vegeta's banner is great. It's worth the summon. It's worth the stones. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully watching this video helped you in some way. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.